Today we are on the hunt for my favorite type of investment property, the four unit apartment building. Octavio, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me and after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise. Behind the scenes, my main man, Tommy, cutting up the footage for you. Now, Octavio, a little bit about you, brother, because this is your video. You are a real estate investor. You live in New York City, and you have tasked me to find you some properties. What you want you want my favorite type of investment, man. You want a quad, the four-unit apartment building. The reason this is my favorite type of investment property is simple. I think the most important part to investing in real estate is the financing. We can grow our money by four by utilizing residential financing. Let's say you want to buy a $100,000 property, okay? You don't have to have $100,000 cash. As a matter of fact, all you're going to need is $25,000. The bank is going to lend you the other $75,000, and our tenants are going to pay off the bank loan. And then, of course, after we pay for our expenses, everything left over is our cash flow. Now, makes sense, right? You put up 25%, the bank lends you 75%, somebody else pays off the bank and you keep the extra. Greatest thing in the world, that's why I love real estate, inv real estate investing. The one downside to that, though, is you can only get 10 of those loans, 10 of those beautiful residential loans. These are 30-year loans. And these loans, they're limited to the types of properties you can buy. You can't just buy like a 100-unit apartment building and get that kind of loan. You can only buy single family homes, duplexes, triplexes, or quads. So logic should dictate quads has the most rental checks coming in that still qualifies for that financing. So that is why quads are my absolute favorite type of investment. And you're looking for quads in the B and C neighborhoods. You're utilizing a conventional loan, obviously. Uh, why wouldn't you? And um, you want to stay under 150000 per quad, um, but if two good deals pop up, you have the opportunity to buy them both. So you're aiming for under 150000 as your budget. That's what you want to stay under. Uh, but it's clear, based on uh, my conversations with you, that you have more funds available, which is good, which is very important. Because here is the one downside uh, to quad investing in the Cleveland market. There just aren't that many of them. There is not a lot of quads in this market. We don't have an oversupply of quads just sitting out there. What we have here in the Cleveland market, we have a ton of single families. We have a ton of duplexes. We don't have too many quads or triplexes. And then we have like a decent supply of six-unit apartment buildings. But when they were building a lot of these suburbs and the neighborhoods in the, in the Cleveland area, they just didn't build a lot of quads. So they're very, very, very hard to come by. So I actually didn't, there was no quads that would have worked for you uh, based upon your criteria. So I found you the next best thing. I found you two triplexes. Now, because uh, the supply of triplexes and quads is so limited. You know, we had to finagle some things a little bit. You had, you know, it's a give take, man. You had to give a little bit. So on one of your triplexes, we stayed under budget, uh, but we had to go down in neighborhood quality slightly. But I'll get into that. And then on the other triplex, we were in a great neighborhood. We're in a B neighborhood, but we had to um, compromise a little bit, so we had to go above budget. So we had to go a little bit above that $150,000 price point. So we're about to get into those, but Octavia, what I really want to show you, um, because based on what you want, right, you want to buy these quads. Whenever we do have quads hit the market, they go immediately, right? 
everybody's looking for quads, right? A lot of people that watch Holton Wise TV, a lot of people, they want the quads because, again, it makes the most sense, right? You know, if you can only get 10 loans, why do you want to have 10 income checks when you can have 40 income checks, right? 40 rent checks coming in every single month, right? 40 is obviously better than 10. That's what everybody wants. So we have, like, super low supply of quads, super high demand. So what I think is the most important thing for you or anybody watching your video after I do release this live later so go to holdenwise.com, you click the property search tab, and that'll take you to the MLS search and analysis show. That's what you've purchased now. But outside of purchasing a show, what I think you need to do, scroll all the way down to the bottom here. These are the real-time MLS feeds. What this is going to do is going to give you my broker access. Super cheap, right? $29.99, that's not a monthly fee, that's not an annual fee. That is a one-time fee to get my broker access what this is going to give you is the exact moment I find out about properties that hit the market with my broker access, you'll find out about them too. So you want to get the multifamily two to four units and you want to do it for every single neighborhood quality that matches up, you know, neighborhood <clears throat> based on the letter that matches up with your risk tolerance. I broke them down into A to F, F being higher risk, A being lower risk. Uh, this is all in relation to the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. If you want a description of what I consider A, B, C, D, or F, check out that guide. I got a link to it in the sh uh, show notes below. So if you're into B and C, you need to pick yourself up a B-class multifamily search and a C-class real-time MLS multifamily search. What that's going to do, any time a quad pops up, in the market, you'll get that notification immediately because if you're just relying on Zillow or Realtor.com, you're missing out because as soon as these quads are going to come up, man, they're, they're, they're so short supply, you're going to be behind the curve. So anybody that wants a quad, you really need to get yourself real-time MLS feed to stand a chance to actually get the opportunity to bid on that property because you need to go in and snag it immediately. So that doesn't mean, though, that if you can't find a quad, you can't make money in the Cleveland market. And I have found some properties that are close to what you wanted, and I think they'll still make some money. I think you'll still be pretty excited. The first one, 3257 Woodbridge Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. It is priced at $109,000. This was listed. Who listed it? Uh, a company called Howard Hanna. Your taxes are right here. $1,950 a year, 2,610 square feet. We have three units. This is a triplex. So that's, if you can't get four income checks, we'll give you three. Looking over the rent roll, this is what you're going to love. $1,000 a month, $650 a month, $625 a month for a total of $2,275 a month or $27,300 a year. As far as the bed bath counts, there is a total of six bedrooms here. Okay, we got an up, down duplex with a house behind it, right? So unit one, unit two, unit three. Six total bedrooms. So we're fairly confident it's two, 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 but this is getting a thousand dollars a month in rent. So it's very possible it could be three, one, two. Um, all three of these tenants are section eight. So being that they're getting a thousand dollars a month for that downstairs, I would say odds are pretty good. That's a three bedroom unit because section eight, they base how much they're going to pay very, very heavily on the bed bath count. All three of these units have one bathroom though. Okay, so the rents are huge. Price, cheap, 109000 Quickly going through the numbers, anticipated expenses. Now, these are average anticipated expenses, right? Repairs, maintenance, 113 a month. We're going to budget 113 a month for that. Doesn't mean every single month you're going to spend 113 It doesn't mean, you know, every single month uh, or for that year you're going to end up with an average that is bigger than that. That's just, you know, an average of what you could expect to spend. And these things are going to come in larger repairs, right? It's not like you're just doing a bunch of $113 repairs, right? It's going to be like nothing, 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 and then you're going to get a turnover, and you're going to have to spend the money on the turnover bid. But you got a budget for that, right? So every single month, 
in your pocket, you're putting 113, you're not gonna consider that cash flow, you're gonna consider that money you're gonna eventually spend. Same thing for your vacancy and non-payment. You're not gonna have 100% occupancy, you're not gonna have 100% of the tenants that move into your properties pay you rent. You're gonna have to evict folks, right? So you're gonna save 113 every month for that because that's gonna happen. CapEx, same thing, man. 113, you're gonna save that every single month. Whether or not you have any costs for any of these three items, you're gonna save that 113 for each of them because eventually you're gonna have some big costs, right? Roofs, guys, you know, anywhere between uh, for this property, like that house roof, that's probably a good four, maybe $5,000 roof. The duplex roof, more like six or seven. Roofs are gonna last 30 years. The agent did not provide us the age of the roofs on this particular property. And as a matter of fact, they didn't really give us much. We only got one photo. This is all we had to work with. So obviously, anytime you buy a property, you're going to get a third-party inspection. These analysis, these are great. This is going to give you, you know, a good game plan, a good idea of what's going on with the properties. But they are never to be utilized uh, in replacement of a home inspection. So you're going to want to hire a third-party home inspector. If you need referrals, we have those for you. Don't worry. We'll be able to represent you as your buyer agent in the purchase of this property. So we'll set you up with the right folks. Uh, but this is a desktop analysis, right? You're getting information that I have that I can get here from this desk. So we still need to actually get somebody inside the property to verify everything. What I can tell you, based upon what we are priced at and like what we've seen and like what I see in this neighborhood, don't go into this expecting to have all new roofs, all new furnaces, all new hot water tanks. That don't make no sense, and they would not have priced this property anywhere near what they priced it if that was the case. So those capital expenditures, they're going to be important to remember that, right? Because, again, probably have a four or $5,000 roof right here, close to a $7,000 roof right here. Roofs are going to last you 30 years. I have no reason to believe that both of those roofs are brand spanking new. So that's going to come into play in the near future. Hot water tanks, you're going to have three of them. They're all going to cost a thousand bucks to replace. They're all going to last 15 years. Do not expect to go into this thinking you're going to get three brand new hot water tanks. I'm sure one's probably like eight years old. Another one's probably 16 years old. Another one's probably 10 years old, right? So that's why we're going to save up for that kind of stuff with our budgeting because you're going to have to pay for those. Furnaces, again, no reason to believe you're going to have three brand new furnaces. You're looking at $9,000, $3,000 a piece. They should last you 30 years. I'm sure, you know, a couple of them are probably around 20 years old. One's maybe newer, one's maybe older, something like that. That's what I would anticipate, but we're going to have an inspector go in there and verify all of this. Um, next, I want to hit is regards to your... <clears throat> Your estimated expenses, your taxes, 162 a month. Insurance, 80 bucks a month. If you didn't already know this, we can insure this property for you. Click the notes below. The Hogue Insurance Agency, that is a company that I am a part owner of. My associate, Kevin, who will actually be the one giving you the bid. We started that company with one intention in mind, and that was to lower you guys' premiums and to create an insurance company that only works with real estate investors. Because, you know, as a rental property owner, you might talk to an insurance agent and they got no experience dealing with these kind of properties. So we needed to create a company built for investors, by investors, so you guys can get the right type of service. And we know what you're looking for, man. We know you want a cheap, cheap landlord basic policy going to cover you on the liability side if there's some issues, but you don't want any bells and whistles. You need to keep those costs down so you can keep that ROI up. That's what we do. We'll take care of you. Click the link in the show notes below for a quote, but it should be about 80 bucks. Water, sewer, hardest thing in the world uh, estimate. I anticipate you spending roughly two and a quarter every month. Lawn care will average out to 44 a month because we don't cut grass all 12 months of the year here in Cleveland. You're in New York, so you know it gets cold, a bunch of snow, yada, yada, yada. It'll average out to 528 a year or 44 a month. Property management, you're going to pay us 227 bucks a month to run this property for you. So on average, okay, you're going to be bringing in 2275 bucks a month. You're going to spend on average 1077 going to leave you with an NOI 1198 or you're going to make $14,376 a year on average. You want to finance it, okay? Um, so you go ahead, you finance this bad boy. 
We are going to have the bank loan you $81,750. You're only going to put down $27,250. Your mortgage is cheap, $414 a month. After you pay off all your expenses, after you save for those capital expenditures, after you budget for all that, on average, you're going to make $784 a month or $9,408 a year. Not bad for an investment of under $30,000. That is a 34.5% cash-on-cash return. Also, the cap rate would be 13.19. Now, you wanted to stay in B or C class neighborhoods. One thing that is super important for you to note is this is what I consider a D class neighborhood. If you go to the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods, you'll see that I've graded this area of Cleveland as a D class neighborhood. However, if you watch a lot of my content, watch a lot of the other MLS search and analysis shows, uh, or watch a lot of the shows on the investment properties for sale show, I think this is the very best D class neighborhood. Here is why. This is your property. And just so you know, we have several properties on Woodbridge. If you go right here, you know, super short, man. This is like walk your dog distance. This right here, this is Metro Health. Metro Health just committed to spending a billion dollars in this immediate neighborhood, right around their campus and in this whole neighborhood. So they're going to be spending one billion, B with a B, not M, not million, not millionaire, billionaire with a B, B like boy. One billion dollars is going to get spent on neighborhood development, making this a nicer neighborhood. So you are right there in the heart of it. So I'm actually really high on this Cleveland neighborhood because I think that we're going to see a nice trajectory of quality going way up. On top of that, okay, you look at Cleveland from afar, people get really excited over Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, Tremont, right? Tremont, Ohio City. Detroit Shoreway, that's what people get excited about. Those are the hottest neighborhoods in the city of Cleveland. Well, guess what? You're right here. You're bordering them, right? You are the nearest neighbor to all three of those hot spots. So that, in conjunction with the fact that you're right by Metro, I think that this is a better bet. If I'm going to go D-class, I'm going to go in this particular neighborhood. Not to mention the other thing, too. The move, when you go to a higher-risk neighborhood, the move is always to put Section 8 tenants in there, right? Because the biggest risk with the high-risk neighborhood is the fact that you're dealing with a lower quality of tenant, right? You're dealing with tenants that, uh, you know, they don't have as good of a payment history as you'll find in a better neighborhoods. Their job history is not as good as you'll find with the tenant base in better neighborhoods. So to alleviate a lot of that risk, a lot of the risk of evictions, and the fewer evictions you have, the fewer vacancies, the fewer vacancies, that's the fewer turnovers. That means your repair costs are going to go down. To alleviate that risk, what you want to do is you want to put Section 8 tenants in there. You get government guaranteed rent. Well, that's already been done for us here. So that's why I chose this property for you. I know you wanted to stay B or C, but again, not that many quads available. That's why you want to pick up one of those real-time MLS feeds so you can get those quick, quick, quick. But with the fact that this is priced so low, the rents are so high, and I am very high on this D-class neighborhood in conjunction with the fact that these rents are Section 8 already guaranteed. I think this will be a pretty consistent producer for you, even though it's D-class. I think you'll see a consistency similar to what you'd see in a C-class. And down the road, I think you got a really good shot at some appreciation um, with all the stuff that's happening with Metro. Now, we're going to go to a quick word from the sponsor of today's show, then I'm going to get in on the second triplex for you. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, 
home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. Hey, welcome back, Octavio. The next property I found for you, 1647 Hillcrest Road, Cleveland Heights, Ohio, 44118. This is another triplex. It is listed at $195,000. Now, this is going to be totally different, right? Totally different ends of the spectrum, totally different type of sale. This is listed by a company called Kiefer Realty Group. The owner of that company is also the owner of this home. So you're going to be dealing with a professional seller. This is uh, a person in the business. They've uh, sold a lot of real estate, owned a lot of real estate, and they've taken uh, great care of this property. Let's take a look at the photos. Triplex here, all right. One of the units is vacant, by the way. Before we go through the photos, let me give you the rent roll. The upstairs the the third floor unit that is a one bed one bath currently rented at 550 then we have a four bed one bath and that is rented at 900 and then the main floor the bottom floor uh, i put on there four one nine hundred on our chart here because that's how much we're going to put a tenant in there for but that is actually currently vacant um, but we don't have to do pretty much anything to that to get it rent ready. That thing is looking good. We're going to see that in the photos. So total rent you can anticipate out of this bad boy, 2350 a month or 28200 or 2350 a month or 28200 a year. Back to the photos. We got nice nice hardwoods, fresh paint in this thing. I mean, these are just huge spacious units. Everything is looking pretty good. We may, after we do the inspection and then after you purchase the property, if you decide to purchase this property and then you have the Holton Wise team go in to go through our rent ready, uh, you know, inspections and make sure everything meets our minimum rental standards, you may end up spending a thousand or two thousand dollars just to button super minor stuff up. But from what I'm looking at here, man, everything is ready to go totally turnkey and you know these units are huge man we're in a really nice neighborhood too this is a b-class neighborhood so the price you know definitely much higher it's obviously higher than you wanted to go you wanted to stick with 150,000 this is 195,000 but the rents speak for themselves man two thousand three hundred fifty dollars a month price point 195 going through the expenses you're bringing in that 2350 a month same thing as before we're going to save money for a repairs, vacancy, CapEx, 117 for all three of those. Taxes, we're in a different municipality now. We're in Cleveland Heights. The tax rate is higher in Cleveland Heights. Just so you know, I've got all of the tax rates of every single neighborhood in the city or in the entire Cleveland market listed in the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. So check that out. But you're going to be spending 394 a month in taxes. Insurance, this is going to be about 100 bucks a month. Again, we'll be able to give you an exact quote. Click the show notes below. Low. water sewer three units i'm estimating two and a quarter could go up could go down lawn care same thing as the previous property 44 property management 235 so scheduled to bring in 2350 a month scheduled to spend 1349 a month leaving you with one thousand and one dollars a month on average of net operating income that's twelve thousand twelve dollars a year you go ahead and finance this bad boy because why wouldn't you? That's what makes the most sense. All you're going to need to do to purchase this, you know, $200,000 property is put down $48,750. We'll get the bank to loan you $146,250. That'll be a mortgage payment of $741. You're bringing in 1000 bucks a month. So it's going to leave you with $260 a month of free cash flow after all your debt service, after your issues. That's $3,120 a year or a cash on cash return of 6.4%. So even though it's above your budget, the numbers, they make sense. That is a great return. And this is going to be a very low risk property. Super nice neighborhood. Another thing too, Cleveland Heights is a point of sale neighborhood. Okay, what that means is if you purchase a property at Cleveland Heights, you don't have to do this in Cleveland, but you do have to do it in Cleveland Heights. The city, they have to go in. Anytime a seller sells a property, they go in, they inspect the property, they issue violations. The seller cannot legally sell that property unless two thing, one of two things happens. One, the seller clears all violations. Or two, 
you, the buyer, agree to assume those violations. You put up money in escrow. You close. You fix all the violations. City comes back out. They say, yeah, yeah, everything's good. And then they clear the violations. Then they give you back your escrow money. Now, for this particular property, the property is in great shape, man. Everything looks really nice here. The seller has not actually ordered his point of sale report yet. He said he's going to do that when he comes to terms on an acceptable offer. The fact that the seller's a pro and the fact that he's familiar with the business is really good for us here because we don't have to go under contract with some unknowns. He has a very good idea of what he thinks the property is going to get cited for. So what we should do is we want to make our offer contingent on him delivering a clear point of sale inspection report. One thing that I saw is the driveway. The driveway is looking a little rough. So if I'm guesstimating, I assume Cleveland Heights, they're going to cite that driveway. That's probably going to be about $10,000. But I don't think the seller is going to have a problem fixing that for you if we give him an offer close to list price. You see, he actually originally listed this for $207,000. So he's already dropped the price down $13,000. So it shows to me his level of motivation. He wants to get this thing sold. He knows what he's got here. He understands better than anybody probably the violations he's likely to incur because he sold a ton of properties in this city. And he knows exactly what's going on with this property because he's owned it for a while, right? So outside of that driveway, I don't think many other things are going to get cited. So I say we put all that stuff on him. Bring in a nice strong offer around one hundred ninety to 195000 contingent on him delivering you a clear point of sale. And then, of course, we'll make a contingent on financing and your third-party inspection to go in and check everything out. You'll have that third-party guy make sure everything is buttoned up. But I believe we're going to have a lot nicer better mechanicals in this particular property than we would in the previous property, the one on Woodbridge. The one on Woodbridge, I don't anticipate anything's going to be newer. I think everything's going to be closer to end of life. That's a much more raggedy and worn down property. This one has, you know, been handled with, you know, much better care. So this is uh, definitely the nicer property. The seller said there's newer furnaces. I would anticipate updated electrical, and I would anticipate our roofs and uh, our hot water tanks are going to be newer as well. But again, trust but verify, we need to make sure we get our inspector in there to check all of that out. So for you, Octavio, I think both of these properties could work for you. Your original goal was to get a B or C class quad. So we had to compromise a little bit here just because of the inventory shortage. So the first thing, again, get one of those real-time MLS feeds. So anytime a quad does pop up, you're the first guy to know about it. And then number two, for both of these properties, with one property, we had to compromise a bit. We stayed in budget, but we had to go down in neighborhood. However, I think that's the best D-class neighborhood in the Cleveland market. And then on this second property, we stayed in neighborhood quality. We're at the best quality. We're in the B. Great neighborhood in Cleveland Heights over there. Very stable tenants. But we had to go up in price, of course. We're up to 195 However, I think it's totally worth it given the quality of the neighborhood, the quality of the property, and a big thing, you don't see a lot of duplexes, triplexes, quads with four bedroom units. The reason you're getting such high rent, 900 for each of those units, is because you have four bedrooms. Typically what we see is a lot of two bed, one bath units. So I think both of these properties work out good for you. If I were you, you said you've got the money to buy them both. I would probably make offers on both. Um, but it's totally up to you. If you want my team, we can write the offers and represent you. Just want to send us an email, sales at holtonwise.com. If you want to go directly to the listing agents, you can do that as well. And after you close, we could still handle the property management. Or if you've got other uh, resources for property management, you can go that route too. This is an a la carte system here at Holton Wise. Pay to play. You pay for what you need from us, and we will provide it. That is all I've got for you, Octavio. For everyone else who's watching this, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button because we got a ton of educational content like this. We got tenants from Hell Stories. We have our own show where we sell properties called the Investment Properties for Sale Show, which comes out to you every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are actually the number one sellers of rental property in the Cleveland market. So our whole goal here at Holton Wise TV is to bring you guys deals, but bring you transparency and bring you education. So because of all that, if you could do me a solid, go ahead and smash 
that like button so YouTube's algorithm knows you're finding a ton of value with what we're doing here on Holton Wise TV. That would be much appreciated. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.